Hey guys, Color Hour Camperman Brian here. Did you guys just buy an RV and you're new to camping and you have no idea what you need for your camper before your first trip? Well, if you did just buy a new camper or if you're new to RVing, in this video, I'm gonna go over 20 must have items that you need for your RV. So these are not accessories or niceties or anything like that. These are things that you really truly need if you do have an RV or camper, or whatever you wanna call it. Now, specifically, these are probably gonna be a little more geared towards travel trailer, cause that's what we have, but uh, it's still gonna be pretty universal as far as if you have a hybrid or fifth wheel, motorhome, you know, all that stuff. So a few years back, I did do a video on the 15 must have items during dispersed camping. So I'll put a link to the video here. And then I also am gonna be having a video of the 25 RV accessories to have. So I'll put a link to that as well. Most of these items you will be able to find on Amazon. So I'll put links to the items in the description. And these items are not in any particular order. So let's go ahead and get to the list. So the first thing you need to have for your camper is a good set of tools. These are my work tools, but if you want to just get like one of those, you know, uh, hundred piece sets, something like that, that you just put in your camper, that would be great. Stuff that I have in here is a hammer, fixed wrenches, crescent wrench, socket set, pliers of various sorts, you know, channel locks, needle nose, regular pliers, screwdrivers, um, scissors, utility knives. You do want to make sure that you have all the larger wrenches, like for your hitch. There was a trip that we went on where we did not have this yet. And our hitch loosened up to the point where we really couldn't drive home without tightening it. And luckily we were camping with people and they helped us out. But I went out and bought one of these immediately after that. And then I do have my drill with my impact driver as well and uh, extra batteries and stuff. You wanna try to have as many tools as possible. Again, uh, things are gonna loosen up, things are gonna break on your camper, and you don't wanna be on the road or out in the middle of nowhere and having no way of being able to fix it. Second thing that you need to make sure that you have is a spare tire and a jack as well. We have actually had to change a tire uh, on a camping trip again when we were out in the middle of nowhere So you need to make sure you have the tools in order to get the tire off as well as the jack In order to jack up your camper and then obviously a spare tire most campers these days do come with spare tires But not always the third thing you're gonna want to pick up is one of these 12 volt air compressors Let's say you get a nail in your camper tires or in your tow vehicle things of that nature definitely going to want to have one of these um, and it's got like a little emergency flashers and stuff like that if you had to pull over on the side of the road. The fourth thing that you want to make sure you have uh, is an equalizer hitch. So our truck is a three-quarter ton crew cab long bed truck. It's ready to pull 13,900 pounds. Our camper uh, the gross weight after it's all loaded and all that stuff is like 7,000 pounds. So we are about half of what our truck is able to actually pull, but we still drive with an equalizer hitch or stabilizer bars, you know, whatever you want to call it. But these really truly are essential. And if you want to be safely traveling down the road, you definitely need to have these on your camper. So the fifth thing that you want to make sure you have is a block or a cone for your tongue jack. This cone is very nice because it does really stabilize things. We've had this thing for eight years. It still does a great job. Uh, with that too, obviously you want to make sure that you have a hitch lock. Um, we prefer the lock over the pin uh, just because it's definitely secure. Then if you go somewhere, someone cannot easily take your camper. The sixth thing that you're gonna to need to pick up is some blocks. Now, you don't have to buy these stackable blocks. You can just use wood or whatnot. You can also use these, you can stack them up to get your tires level. One tip, if you do buy these, make sure you buy the exact same brand. When we first started camping, we bought a different brand than these yellow ones. I believe these are Camco. We bought some different blue ones. We thought they were all universal and they would fit together and they do not. 
So once you go with one brand, make sure you stick with that brand. The seventh thing that you're gonna need is wheel chocks. So we have these little plastic ones. Um, these work well if you're doing dispersed camping like we're doing here. If you're gonna be doing a lot of campground camping, you might wanna get the rubberized ones just because they're gonna grip on asphalt a lot better. Uh, these, if you really wedge them underneath the tire, they'll do okay on asphalt, but like rubber ones would definitely be a little bit better. Eighth thing that you're gonna need is a RV hose or a BPA hose. So typically it's this white hose. Uh, this again is basically free of chemicals, all that stuff. You could use this to fill up your camper or hook it up, you know, from a city connection and it's gonna be okay to drink. So the ninth thing you're gonna wanna pick up is this RV water pressure regulator. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, we haven't used this a whole lot of times because we'll either camp at campgrounds where there's no hookups or we'll do a lot of dispersed camping or, and boondocking. But if you are gonna be going to campgrounds where you have water hookups, uh, the city connection can sometimes be a really high PSI. So what this does is this reduces the pressure to 40 to 50 PSI so it doesn't blow your water lines in your camper. So the 10th thing, uh, we don't really use this a whole lot other than when we plug in at home, but is this reducer. So we'll plug our camper in here, then plug an extension cord into our house. Then we're able to plug into electricity at our house. So with the water pressure regulator, another thing that's great to have just in your camper and they're pretty cheap is this RV water filter. So this just filters the water that would be coming in from your city connection to make sure that you're not getting a bunch of minerals and stuff that's gonna clog up your lines. And if you do use your, um, your tap water as drinking water, it's gonna make sure that it stays nice and clean for you. The 12th thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have is a battery charger. Now you don't necessarily have to keep this in your camper with you, although it is a good idea if you do have the extra room, uh, just in case your battery dies and you're out there camping and you have a generator or some way of charging your battery, you know, this is definitely good to have. Um, you could get a trickle charger one as well. Uh, this one is a heavy duty one where you can do a fast charge or a, a little bit slower of a charge. Um, if you do end up getting a solar panel for your camper, this is honestly not really necessary. So if you're planning on going solar, you probably don't need this. Uh, if you're not planning on going solar, I'd definitely pick one of these up. So the 13th thing you need to make sure you have is extra fuses and light bulbs. So if a fuse blows on your 12 volt system, make sure that you have the proper size amperage fuses with you so then you can swap those out. The 14th thing that you're gonna need to have, which is everybody's favorite part of owning a self-contained camper, is your stinky slinky or your dump hose as well as your connection that actually goes into where you're gonna be dumping. Now this one, we do have the tiered setup. This one works great because if there's different size drains, uh, we're good. So in eight years, we have used this and we have never had an issue dumping anywhere. This is a Valterra. This stinky slinky is actually new. It's Camco, we've only dumped with it once. We used to have a Valterra uh, before this one. It lasted us eight years, it was awesome. The only reason I switched over to the Camco one was because the Valterra was on back order for like two months. But this one so far has seemed to be pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it, it's a super tight fit in our uh, bumper here. So the 15th thing that you're gonna wanna have is just a bunch of cleaning supplies. We have soap, Clorox wipes, toilet bowl cleaner, glass cleaner, an antibacterial spray, trash bags, we have a toilet brush. We also have a small hand broom with dustpan, and then we have a larger broom as well. Um, we highly recommend keeping your camper as clean as possible. Our camper is 10 years old, but if you come on the inside, it still looks like it's in great shape. I'll post a link to a video I did on the condition of our camper after 10 years, but one of the reasons, again, that it's looked so good is because we've done a really good job at cleaning it so the 16th thing you're going to need is these toilet tabs. These are tank deodorizers for your black tank. 
Uh, we've kind of switched around as far as brands go. So I, I don't know that anyone is better out there. If, if you guys have found a really good lamp, put them in the comments below. But um, these seem to do the job and the trick. But uh, you're going to need to put these if you do have a black tank in your RV. The 17th thing that you'll need is RV toilet paper. If you do have a black tank and you intend on using your toilet, you have to get RV toilet paper. The reason why is because it dissolves a lot quicker and it'll break down. So when you go to flush out your black tank, it's not gonna get clogged up. If you were to use normal toilet paper, there is a chance that you're gonna clog up your pipes and you're gonna have issues and you definitely do not want that. We bought this on Amazon. This Scott's brand is actually very nice because it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit softer, but yet it still breaks down very well. The 18th thing you're definitely going to want to have is a first aid kit, especially if you have kids. Gosh, they're always getting hurt. So um, with a good set of tweezers as well. You know, kids get splinters all the time or like our son fell in a cactus. <laughs> that was a horrible story. I'll put a link to that video. But uh, but anyways, definitely got to have a first aid kit in your camper for sure. So 19th thing is extra clothes. So you want to have like beanie, gloves, uh, you know, nice warm socks. You want to have rain gear. So like I have my rain jacket and pants in here, long sleeve shirts, extra jeans, hoodies, all that stuff. So we actually have clothes that's kind of specific to camping. So if you do watch a lot of my videos, you'll probably see I wear the same clothes a lot. That's because I'm in my camper clothes. <laughs> and it, it actually makes things a little bit easier so you don't have to constantly be packing clothes. When we get done with a camping trip, we take our laundry hamper bag in, we wash it, and then we hang everything back up and we'll just put it back in the camper. So it kind of makes things a little bit easier for us. So the 20th and final thing you want to make sure you have is a bunch of extra blankets, pillows, all that stuff. Uh, especially if you have kids, you know, say they wet the bed or they spill, you know, food or drinks all over their stuff. You got to make sure you have extra stuff for them. And then up here in the mountains too, conditions can change rapidly and there could be a swing of 40 to 50 degrees from daytime to nighttime temperatures. And you want to make sure that you have enough stuff to keep you warm for sure. I'll put a link right now, a video I did of tips while winter camping because uh, I did camp one time when it was about negative 30 out and have some tips for you if you're uh, camping in the winter time. All right guys, well that does it for this video. If uh, you guys have any other must have items for uh, RV newbies, please put them in the comments below. Again, I'll put Amazon links to most of the products in the description, as well as a couple of other videos that I made that talks about items and stuff that you should have with your dispersed camping or just general uh, accessories and stuff that are nice additions to your camper. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, throw a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.